Hi, and in this session, we will be talking about God's promise to set watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem in accordance to Isaiah 62 verses 6 to 7. One of the things we believe God is doing in this hour is that He is stirring up many hearts to stand on the walls of Jerusalem at the place of unceasing worship and intercession for the fullness that God has for Israel. Isaiah 62 verses 6 to 7 is a promise that will definitely come to pass at the end of the age. But the question that we need to ask ourselves first is, who are the watchmen and what were their roles? Historically, the city of Jerusalem was surrounded by thick and high walls where watchmen would take their stand to guard the city in both uh, the day and the night. The watchmen in the Bible were ones who were responsible for keeping watch over the city from any schemes and attacks of the enemy or any potential dangers. They were to keep watch and warn the people of any coming danger. The watchmen would then blow the trumpets and sound the alarm to awaken and warn the people to prepare themselves. And we see this in Ezekiel 33, verse 3 to 6, and Joel 2, verse 1. It is a heavy responsibility to hold as the lives of those within the city were in the hands of the watchmen. If they failed to stand guard to watch and to warn the people, Jerusalem would easily fall. The Bible also refers to watchmen as ones who would take a stand on the walls of Jerusalem at the place of prayer, intercession, and the prophetic. The prophet Isaiah prophesied about the end-time generation that would continue in 24-7 prayer for Israel until Jerusalem is established as the praise of nations. And when God says that He has set in Isaiah 62 verse 6, it's His assurance and promise that His word will definitely come to pass and what He has spoken will always be fulfilled and no scheme of the enemy can hinder it. These verses gives us that sure certainty that it will happen no matter what. God is referring to intercessors who will not stay silent in contending for the fullness of God's purposes, will, plan and destiny that He has for Zion. Isaiah 62 verse 6 to 7 specifically refers to the walls of intercession where He has invited all to stand on the walls and to give Him no rest till He returns to establish His kingdom here on earth at the New Jerusalem. The call to set watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem is found in Isaiah chapter 62 where it reveals God's heart and zeal for her fullness, for Zion and for Jerusalem's sake. He is also coming back as the bridegroom God who is jealous for his people. In fact, this is the emphasis and the move of the Holy Spirit in this very hour. The Holy Spirit is orchestrating a global prayer movement in these last days that will far eclipse any other prayer movement in the history of the Church of Jesus Christ. The global prayer movement is one that combines worship, which is the heart, and prayer, which is the bow, that flows in the prophetic. It's the very initiative of the Holy Spirit who is the one setting watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem. This end-time prayer movement will bring about historic breakthroughs in areas such as unprecedented power and divine revelation, for it's at the place of prayer and intercession where God downloads His heart to us and pours out His Spirit upon us. We see this in Acts 2, where the 120 gathered in the upper room, praying unceasingly till the Spirit was poured out on them. Scripture also prophesies that there will be an end-time outpouring of the Holy Spirit which will result in great signs, wonders and miracles being done for His glory to be shown. The end-time prayer movement will also bring about historic breakthroughs in the area of the great harvest of souls. In fact, Jesus prophesied that His return would follow the preaching of the gospel as a witness to all nations. And this would be done through both those in the mission field and the prayer room. Bill Bright, the founder of Campus Crusade for Christ, one said that the Great Commission does not work without 24-7 prayer. We need to realise that the missions movement goes hand in hand with the prayer movement. There will also be historic breakthroughs in the area of divine judgement, where the book of Revelation prophesies about the end time shakings and judgments that God will release upon the earth as a result of the prayers of the saints. We see this in Revelation 5. Revelation 8 verse 1 to 5 tell us clearly that it is true the prayers of the saints that will release the seven trumpets and the seven bowls at the end of the age. The end-time worship and prayer movement plays a pivotal role in God's end-time plan and purposes over the year. So this is the hour that we are to contend for the 100 million intercessors. One of the prophetic words given in May 1983 was that there will be a youth movement of singers and musicians that will be used in power evangelism and will mobilize prayer for Israel. What started in the House of Prayer in Kansas City has led to many other houses of prayers being established all across the globe for Israel. In 1984, the number of 24-7 houses of prayer were less than 25 worldwide, but today, there are more than 10,000 where most started within the last 10 to 20 years. 
Indeed, this cannot be orchestrated by men, but by the sovereign divine work of the Holy Spirit in stirring and convicting hearts to arise as intercessors and watchmen for Jerusalem. And as we approach an escalation of end-time events prior to His second coming, there will be a global acceleration of watchmen who will stand on the walls of Israel as God's burden for Israel is released upon them. In fact, the end-time prayer movement has shifted to Asia, where we see many houses of prayers emerge in places such as Taiwan, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, China, and even places like Central Asia. This prophetic word was accompanied by a strong stirring from the Lord to pray for the 100 million intercessors to be raised up, especially in China. And this was a vision cast that many embraced and are pressing in for that reality. Many in Asia, especially in China, are awakening to his call for us. And one of the mandates for the church in China is to bring the gospel back to Jerusalem. This will be fulfilled starting at the place of prayer. And just last year, we saw a down payment of this on May 28, 2023, where 100 million intercessors across 5,000 prayer networks took part in praying and interceding for Jerusalem. Scripture tells us that God will establish His elect all across the nations who will cry out day and night at the place of prayer and intercession for Israel. We see this in Isaiah 62 verse 6 to 7, Isaiah 42 verse 10 to 13, and also in Luke 18 verse 7 to 8. This is the hour where God is clearly taking the initiative to gather an army of Gentile intercessors all across the nations who engage in serious unceasing prayer for the Jewish people. So to conclude, Psalm 102 verse 13 is the context for the hour that we are living in. And this is the hour to favour Zion. God is in this hour looking for ones who would carry His burden for His people. He is looking for ones who would arise as the Esthers and as the Ruths of this generation. Ruth was a Gentile who chose to be identified with the God of Israel, where she said that, Your people shall be my people and your God my God. This is not about us becoming Jewish or moving to Jerusalem but it's about embracing them as our family where we feel how God feels and love them the way that God loves them. This is our statement to God where His zeal will be our zeal, His burdens our burdens, and this is the hour to seek His face and to catch His heart for His people. God is also looking for the Esthers where we are born for such a time as this. We see this in Esther 4 verse 14. Esther arose to intercede for the Jewish people when they were under persecution from Haman. She chose to risk her life to stand before the king for the sake of the Jewish people. It is truly in this hour that we have come to the kingdom for such a time as this, where God is looking for ones who would see the necessity and urgency to stand in the gap for Israel in this crucial hour of human history. God's invitation has gone forth to all who choose to obey, respond and arise to partner with Him at the place of prayer. This is truly the hour to take our stand and to climb on the walls of Jerusalem to give him no rest till he makes Jerusalem a praise on the earth. God bless.